welcome to my class in this particular class we will talk about modem modem this is the image of internal modem and this is external modem let's take an example in order to explain the functionality of modem we are going to take one particular example this is the computer which is placed in Delhi. We know that computer is an electronic device and it generates digital signals. Signals in the form of zero and ones. They are termed as digital signals. This is a modem, a device connected to the computer. Computer generate digital signal and these digital signal reaches to modem. Modem converts these digital signals into analog signals, which are in the form of waves. Now, a telephone is connected to the modem. It means from computer, the signal goes to modem and from modem, this goes to telephone. But we are very well aware of one thing that telephone carries voice signals, which are in the form of analog signals. Suppose we want to send signal from Delhi to Mumbai, then we need to lay down the cables from Delhi to Mumbai. We started thinking that, is there already laid down cables from Delhi to Mumbai? If there are already laid down cables from Delhi to Mumbai, then we can make use of those cables. Then we realized that telephone cables are already laid down from Delhi to Mumbai. Can we make use of those already laid down telephone wires but the problem is telephone wires carries analog signals whereas the computer generates digital signals so what we did we started making use of one particular device that is modem we connected this modem with the computer and computer generates digital signal signal reaches to modem and modem converts these signals to analog. Now we know that there are telephone wires. Through telephone wires, the signal reaches from Delhi to Mumbai. Again, in Mumbai, we have analog signals. Then we again install one more modem. This time the modem will convert analog signal into digital signals. Here the modem converts analog signal to, to digital signals and then these digital signals are transmitted to the computer which is at Mumbai. So we started communicating from Delhi PC to Mumbai PC with the help of this modem. This modem first converted digital signal into analog signal and after that analog signals are again reconverted into digital signals. So we made use of already laid down telephone wires. This is the basic crux of modem. It is a device which converts digital signal to analog signal and then analog signal to digital signal so that two computers can communicate with each other. We can make use of telephone wires with the help of this modem. Now let's look into the detail of this modem. Data transmission signals. We know that there are two types of signals. Right now we have seen digital signal and analog signal. So in order to transmit data from one point to another, generally two types of signals are employed. One is analog signal and the second one is digital signals. Analog signals are in the form of waves, whereas digital signals are in the form of zero and ones. In the case of analog signals, these are continuous signals as these are in the form of wave. Between one and two, there can be n numbers. For example, 1.25, 1.59, 1.91, etc. Since it is in the form of waves, it is in continuous form. 
on the other side we have distal signals distal signals are of two phases either it can be on or it can be off there is nothing in between but in the case of analog we have seen that the fractional numbers are there in an analog signal the signals are in the form of waves and the transmitted power varies over a continuous range for example sound radio waves etc but in the case of digital signals they are in the form of zero and ones a digital signal is a sequence of voltage pulses represented in binary form that is zero and ones a digital signal is a sequence of voltage pulses represented in binary form that is 0 and 1s in other words the information is encoded as a set of discrete values a set of 1s and 0s so digital signals can be said to have two values it can be either 1 or 0 now modulation and demodulation a modem is required when connecting to internet using telephone lines we have already explained it that in case we intend to send message from one place to another we need to have modem in case we need to get connected to internet again we need to have modem if we are using telephone lines computer generates data in digital form whereas the telephone lines used for data communication in computer networks are usually meant for carrying analog signals only signals in the form of waves signals in the form of wires when digital data is to be sent over an analog facility that is telephone lines the digital signal generated by computer must be converted into analog form In other words computer generate digital signals and it needs to be translated to an analog form to be transmitted over the telephone lines the technique by which a digital signal is converted to its analog form is known as modulation so conversion of digital signal into analog signal is termed as modulation the reverse process that is the conversion of analog signal to its digital form at its destination device is called demodulation so again when we convert back analog signal to digital signal it is termed as demodulation now this term modem we took mo from modulation and we took dm from demodulation this becomes modem the word modem is derived from the devices modulator and demodulator the processes are termed as modulation and demodulation mo from modulation and dem from demodulation it makes a particular device that is modem the process of modulation and demodulation that is the conversion of digital data to analog form and vice versa is carried out by a special device called a modem so modem is a device which converts digital signal to analog signal and then analog signal to digital signal now look at the same example once again we have pc at delhi we need to get connected to mumbai pc the delhi computer generates digital signals a modem is attached to these digital signals and the modem converts these digital signals into analog signals in the form of waves 
then a telephone is connected at daily place. The telephone wires take signal from Delhi to Mumbai. Mumbai telephone it generates analog signals. Again, one more modem is connected. This modem will convert analog signal into digital signal. And these digital signals are transmitted to PC, which is at Mumbai. Now the two computers, one at Delhi, second at Mumbai, they started exchange of information with the help of one particular device modem. But we are using our already laid down telephone lines. There are two types of modem, internal modem and external modem. Internal modem is in the form of PCB, printed circuit board card. This card is fixed into one of the specific slot of the motherboard. External modem is a device which is externally connected to one of the ports available at the back side of the computer. This is example of internal modem and this is the example of external modem. We learned that modem is a device which converts digital signal to analog and analog signal to digital signal. Thank you very much.